It's so sour. It's gonna be fine in this ice cream. Fucking heck, dude. Oh, let's see. Look at these care package. Culture Kings. This guy, what do they send? Timberland, stop it. Top of the range shoes here, boys. Timberland's less oge. Armani. Bro, I legit didn't even know they sell Armani. But they're moving up in the world. Let's go. What's this, a box? Hey, they surprising me. This cut, brother. But they got chains and all, oisies. They got rain chains and all, lad. They got chains and all, bro. And they got the Gunners Clothes Culture Kings. Go on their website, I've got a code for you. You get 15% off everything. The code's Spanian. Anything on their website, check it out. Culture Kings, less oge. Everyone, welcome back. Another episode of SO8. We're in Howden Street, Lakemba at the Ramadan Lakemba Night Markets. They do this every year. It's part of um, the Muslim Ramadan Festival. And um, the Sahaj Baba, obviously, all the foods, Arabic food from all different Muslim countries. Let's go, Baba. I love it. Let's go. <laughs> I want a camel burger, please. That's what everyone talks about. I never had camel in my life, straight out. I know someone that's had camel. They told me, listen, I'm not jaying up here. They said it tastes like a camel smells. Say, so I don't know, bro. Like, I don't know, yeah, I don't know, mate. But let's go, camel burger. People say it's nice. As well. They got beer, bro. Is that popular? Yeah. yeah? Is it good? Yeah. Oh, I'll suss it, I'll suss it. Camel? Camel burger? Let's go. That was quick, beautiful. Let's go, let's go. Two camel patties, cheese in the middle, special sauce on it. Let's go. But they got deer burgers too. Fucking deer burgers. I think that's more interesting than a camel burger. A deer burger. I didn't know people would eat deer meat. It tastes like a normal burger. It tastes like a full normal burger. It's nice. It's nice. It just tastes like an average burger, to be honest. Like, you know, you expected something like, oh, something different. It's not. It tastes like a burger from your local store. I'm eating a bomb star one. Venison. Venison. Yeah. Venison, yeah. Venison. Getting the deer burger, but obviously they got both. Compare them. Camel burger, the deer burger. Can't get one and walk away. It's gonna be like one you ate the deer burger. Thank you for that. No This is way juicier. Way juicier. This one's loaded. This one's slightly different. I'm gonna be honest with you. It tastes the same. <laughs> you have a beef burger, you have a D burger, you have a camel burger. Obviously, you're thinking they're gonna taste completely different. It's like, oh, this one, oh, mums, they all taste like ne nearly the same. Nearly the same. They're nice, but they're nice. I think the D is slightly nicer. I like the D more than the Yeah, they're both good. Yeah, good flavor. Yeah, it's slightly better. Yeah, yeah. Hey, how are you? Good. Love your stuff. Thank you. That's Oge. That's Oge. But so I think this is, I'm not sure if it's Indian or Pakistani. Obviously. Because there's obviously Muslims from India and Pakistan. So that's why there's Indian or Pakistani food. If you are not quite sure. But that's gun. But that is, that is gun. That's spicy, bro. Oh, lad. Stop it. This drives the camel burger and the deer burger. This jumps all over its head. This jumps all over its mum's head. This is hectic. I gotta stop from eating all these things. Just the chicken, man. Look at this. Bruh. Let's uh, appreciate your work, man. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, because it uh, helped the youth out a lot. Yeah, man. People don't understand that. I'll just want to run. That's alright, I'll give it to them. I'll give it to them. 
It's so sweet. Like imagine bread, and it's just so soaked in syrup that it changes colour and morphs into a lolly. That's what it is. Chips on a stick. It's like you've seen the process. It's like swirled chip, uh, potato. On, on a stick, it's famous. Everyone goes on about it. I haven't had it. That's chicken or chili seasoning? Chili all day. You will learn everything, chili everything. In my house, because my missus is Samoan and that. So like, anyone who doesn't want like the chili version, they go, oh, the Palangi version. Then they get no chili air, the Palangi one. <laughs> That's one potato. Perfectly handcrafted. Because it's gone. Love it? Yeah. Ooh, ooh, right off the bat. That's it. <laughs> but I wonder, is this even like a, a Muslim feat? You wouldn't think so. This is like something you get a day to show, but it's hectic. They sell lemonade as well. So I'm gonna get some lemonade. The same store sell the famous chip on a stick and it held up to its name. And the famous lemonade. And they prepare it like a margarita. You know what I love about Samanian? He waits in line. Even though he's a famous man and everyone loves him, he waits like everyone else. They could have put a hurus and pushed <laughs> in front of everyone. I could have walked up, I go, listen, I'm doing videos, I'm famous. This and that. But I didn't, I stood at the back, it's been 35 minutes. <laughs> no, I'm it's been 15 minutes. Thank you, thank you. Here, cameraman, for you, you can taste it before me. He's a holder for you, brother, relax. He's trying to balance a big shoulder camera and he's like, a holder for him. Whoa! Stop it! Stop it! Bro, that's gone. <laughs> it's so sour. I don't know if I said this already. Look, we've been here for about 40 minutes. Look at the difference. We're walking here, it was like you could walk around. Like, bro, look at the difference. It's packed. Yeah, it's Palestinian dessert. Originally come from the city of Nablus from Palestine. It's called uh, Kinafa. This is Aussie pistachios. And we call it yummy yummy. We call it yummy yummy. For your tummy. One place. No, no, no. What? Come on. Right. Yummy yummy. Yummy yummy for your tummy. <laughs> he loves it. Let's go. This looks full intense. It's so cheesy. Look at that. Bruh. <laughs> Fucking hectic. But it's like a dessert, right? But it's like a full feed. So the orange part, the pastry, it's like in a full syrup. It's like in a sweet syrup. It's, it's the most spin out food. It's hectic part. Take a look around. All of that, have a look over my shoulder. All of that. There was one stand that either had a shawarma wrap roll, or a chicken wrap roll, or a kofta wrap roll. Walked all of that and I can't even find the most basic of what you would consider Arabic food. I'm disappointed in that. Let's go suss out the authentic coffee. Oh, looks lethal, it's that small, it's probably got 10 shots in it. We have coffee and tea. Oh, it's hot. One taco is me. We have the duty free. We can stay next to me, but don't follow me, I'm going hunting. No way, he's a full rapper. He free, freestyled that. Let's go, thank you, bro. But it's lethal, it's burning hot, I'm telling you. The reason I haven't sipped it yet, it's so hot. Like, it's in a little plastic cup like that. It's, but it's like, a hundred degrees, like I can't even touch it. You think I'll be a bit cooler? Woo! Yeah, it's strong, brother. This is the one that you're scared of. This is it. It's here in front of you. Let's go. Let's cut. It's hectic. Oh, look at these lines. Look at the line. The camel burgers. Fuck. We got in full early. 
Bro, I swear, imagine you're lying up for 40 minutes for a camel burger and, and figure out it tastes like a Big Mac, you'll be spewing. Say, bro, look at the line. You're fucked. If you don't get here when it opens, you're fucked. I'm sweating on a wrap. A hectic wrap with pickles, tabbouleh, a bit of garlic, a bit of chili. Let's oge, bro, proper food. It's meat's flying out the proper way. I don't get lettuce, I don't get tomato. That's bogan stuff, relax. Tabbouleh, pickles, chili, garlic, and the meat. That's how you have it, brother, let's car. That's hectic. I love, this is one of my favorite foods on earth. I'm telling you, I was getting a bit like, you know what I mean? I want a proper feed, like, all right, this, sweet, this, potato. All right, but well, I want a proper feed. Honestly, yeah, I've been heaps of trouble. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hearing from you, mm. tell my luck that. You're, you're talking about yeah. what's yeah. happening and what you're doing now. Yeah, yeah. I've been wanting to tell you for a while, and I'm not going to do it in the message. It means more yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, hectic, hectic. Well, well, thank well, you for saying that, bro. Thank you, bro. How you doing, mate? <laughs> I want, there's like ice cream here. It's like authentic. It's like either Turkish or... Lebanese or something like a pop ice cream, you know what I mean? Obviously, I'm gonna come here and get like food that you get at Hoyt's. Relax. It's gonna be fucked finding this ice cream. Yeah, <laughs> we've done a, done a full fucking, I've done a full maneuver of the whole street. My cameraman reckons he found it. Pointing me over here, so we'll go see if the ice cream's there. If it's not there, I'm giving out special delivery snap kicks. Australia Post guarantee next day. It's there. He's lucky. I was full G for this. It's goat's milk ice cream rolled in pistachios. Let's oge. Wow. It tastes like rose water. Did he say there's rose water in it? Rose water, pistachio, but it's not like with vanilla ice cream. The ice cream itself is different. Anyway, it's hectic. It's unexplainable. I love it. Let's cut. I'm pumping this whole thing. Ain't no half here. All right, what did I think of the Lakemba night markets, the Ramadan night markets? I'll tell you, I'll tell you straight out. The vibe, look at the people. The smell, this whole place smells like food and like, you know that charcoal, like like mad authentic barbecue smell. I swear when I get home, my whole house is gonna smell like a barbecue. There's so many people here, the vibe's mad. Everyone's real polite. Everyone that, all the, half the blokes that work in the stores here, they're comedians, it's mad, right? And you know what I loved? I loved walking around seeing like, you see people of all different like backgrounds, like non-English speaking backgrounds, and like they were coming up to me like, it makes me feel mad, they're coming up to me like, Spanian bro, like, and people like, you know what I mean, saying like, yeah, help them, and like, you know what I mean, like, that's just mad, you know what I mean? I gotta tell you, like, I have, I do have a high standard for Arabic food. I found that too much of the novelty food, too much. I would have loved it if we come here, and it was like authentic, some novelty food obviously, but too many, too many. I feel like at one stage there was like somebody who done the swelly chip and somebody who done the whatever, you know what I mean? You get what I'm trying to say? And because they were famous, so every second person was like, I'm gonna do the swelly chip, I'm gonna do, and now you can't, it's hard to find the proper food. But like I said, like to be honest with you, it's a night out, it's more about the, it's more about the, 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 the night, you know what I mean? I'd, any day, rather go to a mad restaurant, sit down and get a hectic plate. No, that's not Let's go. Not, not, not.